Hi, today I'm going to show you how to connect Google Forms to PayPal in about five minutes to make a super easy uh, payable form where you could collect money for an event, uh, any type of payment, any options, products that you might be selling. Uh, it's quick and easy to get up and running, so let's get to it. If you've never made a Google form before, head to forms.google.com and uh, learn about it. It's pretty quick and easy. We're not going to go into all the different details. Watch a different video for that. But today I have this mock Google form that we created called the PayPal demo form. And I made a few questions inside of it. I made a multiple choice question. And right now we're in the editor view. So this is how we, as an organizer or an administrator, uh, would see our form. So I made a multiple choice for the package. I made a drop down for the guest passes and I listed out the price for every single one of the different quantities. Uh, and then I made some add ons, which are check boxes that somebody could optionally choose to uh, add some more services on. And so generally what I want to do, though, is make this automatically calculate the total and charge somebody for it. Also keep track of who's paid and who hasn't paid. And to do that, we need to extend the capabilities of Google Forms using a add-on. And so the add-on we're going to show you today is our payable forms add-on. So if you Google uh, Google Workspace Marketplace, so search for that, and then just search for payable forms. And you're going to want to install this payable forms add-on. It'll ask you for a range of permissions that we need to be able to kind of send emails on your behalf uh, to notify the the uh, people of their orders if they haven't paid and also to listen to your form triggers and update your spreadsheet for you once you've done that go back to your form and hit refresh and you should see in the top right hand corner this puzzle piece and this is the add-on puzzle piece you're going to click that and you're going to click payable forms and then you're going to select make this form payable this should open uh, the add-on sidebar down here on the right-hand side, and there's three main steps to get up and running. So the first is you're going to hit Auto Configure Form and Sheet, and this will set up um, the responses to go into a Google Sheet. It'll make email addresses required, and it'll add a link on your confirmation message to let your users transition right away to the checkout page. The next thing you're going to do is sync the theme with the checkout. So this is all my colors and my header image and things like that. It'll make it match the payable checkout page. So you should do that anytime you change any of the colors or the theme. And to do that, it's up here in the customized theme part on uh, Google. You can upload different images and do things like that. Okay, let's open the sidebar again. And the last piece is to connect a payment provider. Today we're talking about PayPal, very versatile payment provider. Um, you know, they're available in over 138 regions around the world. So super powerful. There's two different flavors that you're going to see here. There's PayPal standard and PayPal commerce platform. If you're thinking about raising, uh, if you're based in the United States, UK, AU, and Canada, and you're thinking about uh, collecting probably more than $1,000 or $5,000, we really recommend going for PayPal Commerce Platform. It has more advanced card capability. We're going to make another video that explains exactly what that is. But generally, it's going to make your card checkout for people who, say your buyer doesn't have a PayPal account, it's going to make their life a lot easier because the Visa and MasterCard it, uh, checkout when you select this option is a lot more streamlined and powerful, just like any e-commerce website you would see. When you use PayPal Standard, they give you this little inline card checkout for people who don't really recognize the PayPal button or, or the PayPal brand. And it's not as powerful to guess. Uh, and it kind of runs into a few more hiccups. Again, we're going to have a different video on that. And so definitely choose PayPal Commerce. You don't need to be an official business with an LLC. You can do it as a sole proprietor. So if you're just an individual and you're getting up and running, uh, it will ask you a few more questions during the checkout process, but we'll talk about that later. So uh, both flows are very similar. And so today we're just going to go through the PayPal standard flow. When you get to this page, uh, it's going to redirect you to PayPal. And the most important thing you can do is make sure you use the exact same email. If you already have a PayPal account that you want to use, uh, make sure you use the exact same email that is on that account. Uh, so I'm going to, and what that will do is it'll, it'll let Google know, or sorry, it'll let PayPal know, oh, okay, you just want to log in with that account. You don't want to create an entire new account. Sometimes it gets pre-populated with what you provided um, in Google. And so make sure that you put the right email address in and then it'll migrate you to this page where you can log in with your existing PayPal account. 
And it will ask you for some permission if you haven't granted permission before, and that's permissions for us as a platform to you know set up transactions on your behalf and do all of the various things. And so I'm gonna hit go back. And so you have to hit that at the end and you'll end up back at this page. And so this should kind of show you that you've successfully connected it and what your default country and currency is on this PayPal account. And I'm gonna hit close. So you're gonna go back to your form and you should see it here as connected. And so that looks good. And down here, it also will show connected. So once that's done, you can close this window. Uh, the last step you're going to do is click make this form payable. And what this will do is set up triggers uh, so that you, each time somebody submits your form, we will do the math, do the calculation and create that checkout page for them. And so once that is done, you can close the getting started section and you will see that this is testing mode is on for practice. And so that is great. Uh, that means we've already kind of, we're gonna do some tests. To see what your form looks like to users who are gonna fill it out, you can click this eyeball button here and this will kind of like set up a little bit of a demo for us. So we're gonna choose the silver package. I'm gonna pick two guest, and I will do Red Bull and hit submit. This is gonna bring you to the uh, Google Forms confirmation page, and then you will click this transition link, and this will bring you to our hosted checkout page. And so this is uh, added up all the different pieces that are on uh, my form here, so you can see the different amounts. And it is going to give a hosted card checkout. The one that you're seeing here in sandbox uh, in test mode is actually the advanced card checkout. So it will look slightly different when you turn it on, uh, turn testing mode off if you, ha if you don't have an advanced card capable PayPal account. Uh, and again, we'll talk about that a little bit more in detail, but generally you will see a range of PayPal buttons here, depending on your country. You might see Venmo button, you might see some pay later buttons, you might see a whole bunch of different buttons powered by PayPal. No matter what button or if somebody uses card or if they use anything, the money will go directly into your PayPal account. So we put these test cards up here so you can try them. Uh, two, four, and uh, CVV is 366, 90210, and you can hit pay with Visa. So this just lets you kind of practice going through the payment flow to make sure everything is working and you can kind of see what kind of experience your customers will have. So they'll be returned to this uh, thank you page and they will have this payment ID is obviously a PayPal transaction ID. So if you ever wanted to look it up, um, you can do that. As an organizer, what we're gonna do is go back into the sheet. I'm gonna hit refresh on the edit mode. Sometimes that is helpful when you go to responses because sometimes the sheet doesn't pick up right away. So hit refresh uh, and then go to responses. And you can see a high level overview of kind of, you know, if you were doing a survey, it would make sense to look at it this way. But for us, it, it, a lot of the time it makes more sense to look at this in the spreadsheet. So you're gonna click here and this shows you the spreadsheet uh, of all of the different things that somebody picked, right? So here was the timestamp, who it was, what package they chose. We payable automatically create this order ID for you, do the math, we tell you what status the order is in, we show you how somebody paid, it was with your, the money went to your PayPal account, they paid with a card, and this is the PayPal transaction ID. If you ever wanted to look it up in PayPal, issue a refund or do anything like that, you could do that from the PayPal portal when you log in with your PayPal account. So quick and easy to get up and running, um, takes less than five minutes to connect a PayPal account to Google Forms, and it keeps you super organized as you're going through here. The other thing that we've done with the PayPal integration is it is actually capable of supporting subscriptions and recurring payments. So it's as easy as let's go in here and you can update um, your, your, your prices at any point. You know, say we decided that, okay, the gold package is about to sell out. Let's make it $70. You could do that. That's no problem. The other thing we can do is just do slash month here. And our engine will automatically go, oh, okay, if you did a price slash month, you can also do year, week, or day. We will turn that into a recurring order so that it is behaves like a subscription. And somebody can set up it once, and then you would log into PayPal to manage that subscription after the fact. So after doing that, when you're ready to send your form out, you hit send, you would go to link, and you can hit shorten URL. And this is how you could say, hey, hey everyone, I'm ready. Uh, to have you come to my form and pay. So let's look at this one more time and I'll show you the subscription flow. Uh, today, this time we're gonna choose a bronze package, which is $10 a month. 
And we might also choose, uh, let's do no guest passes, but we'll also add in a one-time uh, purchase like VIP parking. So this is gonna be a one-time purchase, but this is gonna be a recurring purchase. We've done a lot of work behind the scenes to make this automatically intelligent uh, and to send all of the data to PayPal in a way that matches what your user has selected. So when this redirects us here, we should end up to a checkout page where we have a $10 a month item, which was the bronze package, a one-time payment of VIP parking. Now, when we come down here, so this is gonna look a little bit more like when you are doing a regular PayPal account. There's a basic debit or credit card and there's a pay with PayPal button. This time I'm gonna use the pay with PayPal button to kind of show you the data that we have sent um, to PayPal. And what you'll see is that this is in sandbox. So you see here sandbox.paypal.com. So I'm going to log in with uh, the sandbox accounts that we show you. So Lisa, customer123. And what you can see here uh, in the PayPal window is, so if you click on this, you can kind of see what, we, what we're setting up with PayPal. So this is a $10 Canadian each month, and it's going to renew automatically, which is, which is what we set up. And then we add a one-time setup fee, and that fee is covering any one-time items. So that VIP parking was only going to happen once. So today I'm going to pay $20. However, each month I'm going to be charged uh, $10 for the bronze package because that's going to renew infinitely until we cancel. So I'm going to hit continue here. Agree and subscribe. So like that, you can both do one-time payments with PayPal and subscription payments quick and easy. Like we have put so many hours into that integration to make it that easy for you. Behind the scenes, we're doing a lot of different things. We're creating a product in your PayPal account, a plan in your PayPal account, subscribing that user to the PayPal account uh, uh, for to that, to that uh, product. And it all happened seamlessly. All you had to do was put slash month. So um, here is uh, now, uh, an example of what it looks like when you've subscribed. So now this person has an active subscription. If they come back to this receipt, they will see all the recurring payments attached to it into the future. And if you ever want to change it or cancel it or do anything like that, this subscription ID will exist in your PayPal account. You can just log in and manage your subscriptions right from inside PayPal. We do all of the work to set it up. When we go back to the sheet, what you're going to see here too is that um, this person, Kyle, who is on the bronze package, which is $10 a month, uh, his status is subscribed. He has an active subscription. He paid with PayPal and his recurring, uh, the method he used was PayPal. And this ID, of course, is the subscription ID instead of the transaction ID. So if it's a transaction, you have a one-time PayPal transaction ID. This identifier is the PayPal subscription identifier. So you would use that to look it up, cancel it, do anything that you would want. If his credit card starts declining or his account gets into... Uh, you know, it, it's unable to pay the next time uh, PayPal tries to charge it $10. The status will also automatically update. PayPal will send you emails, of course, but we also try to keep track of the actual status of the subscription and show it to you here. So the PayPal integration is very, um, like, very substantial. Like, we've done a lot of work on it, and I hope that this was helpful to kind of showcase how quick and easy it is to connect a PayPal account um, to Google Forms to do both one-time payments and subscription payments. Uh, any questions, don't hesitate to ask. That's the flow. Uh, good luck and, and keep on uh, raising money and selling stuff. Uh, cheers.